can be a little bit tricky when you want to apply blush. When you open a palette like this, you see a combination of shimmer and matte shades and various different tones as well. You have cooler tones and you have darker tones and you have cooler uh, shimmers and darker shimmers. Now, the key here is to create a custom look that would complement your skin tone or the skin tone of whoever you're doing the makeup for. I'm going to demonstrate how I use the Sephora Collection Blush Palette on this side and the Anastasia Blush Kit, which is slightly darker so that you can also learn how to play with a little darker shades as a blush. All right, let's begin. Now, when you're using a blush, you want to make sure that you're, the size of your brush isn't so big because blush is very detailed and it's concentrated in a specific area. You can either go in with a flat pointed blush brush like this from e.l.f. or you can use an angled brush like this. It's kind of fluffy and it's small and it's pointed and because it's tapered, it will give me a lot more precision. Now, looking at this palette, I want to add a little bit of shimmer to the tops of my cheeks. Now, I'm going to show you how I, I mix these. So with these two shades, now because I'm more tanned, I'm going to mix these two shades and apply the blush very lightly using feathered motions. I also want to keep a blending brush in hand so that I can blend the edges and kind of diffuse this if I need to, if I've used too much. And then also I'm going to add in a little bit of the shimmer blushes. So I'm going to mix these two together. And the way I do it is, I, uh, since I've applied the blush here, I'm going to add the shimmer just to where as a highlighter. So just where the, the light hits my face. So about there. It's a very small place right there. And I'm using the pointed side of this because I want to add more precision. So right there. And you can see how that glows. Again, take the blending brush or the clean powder brush and just blend the edges. For this palette, I'm going to go in with this br brush so that you can see how I use this. Now, it comes in these four shades. There's an orange, there's a tan, and there's a burgundy. And there's a gray. Now, this sort of brownish is going to, if you mix in, one of these with the brown, it will neutralize it. It will kind of bring it, cool it down a little bit because these are such warm colors. Now for this palette, like I said, it's best if you are medium to dark skin tones because for the light, it's just going to be way too much unless you use a tiny amount and you, you mix it in with um, a mineral powder, foundation powder of your skin tone so that it tones it down a lot because by itself it would just look really too much too much on your face so I'm gonna take this flat brush and I'll dip it I'll dip one here and one here and then I dip it in the back of my hand and then I just tap it very lightly and once I de I've deposited the color on my cheek, then I can just kind of blend it in into like an infinity. And you can see how beautiful that is. And again, like I said, if it's too strong, you can take a clean powder brush and just diffuse it and blend the edges down. And that's how you use the Anastasia palette. So next up, I'm going to show you how I use liquid lipsticks to create blushes. I love it. See you then.